Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. Today, what you're seeing here is our Cornish meat, meat chickens that we're going to raise for meat. Got these last Wednesday, so they're just about a week in. Um, a weekend and I suppose they are probably just over a little over a week old so as you can see they grow pretty fast and we will be using these for our food supply um, I do like to raise a few broilers they're also they're Cornish chickens and we I haven't raised any broilers for a while I usually just buy them from a local um, pe local friends or family that raise them and, but I decided to to uh, raise some of my own this year. Years ago, when I was growing up, we we uh, raised a lot of chickens, and it was our part of our meat supply. So this is something that a lot of people do. I'm sure you can buy them at the store, but when you raise your own, they're so much better, so much better. And I'm, I plan on these are in our garage right now, but I plan on putting them out in a little shed and actually putting a little fence yard for them to let them kind of go out in the yard and pick and eat and off the ground instead of being confined. So that is my plan. Uh, we are really cold here right now, kind of chilly, and I'm going to keep them in our garage right now so I can kind of watch them really close. But they're doing pretty good. We did lose one unexpectedly last night. I just come in here to clean out the pen and one was laying there so it does happen we do lose a few um, and it's just I mean it's just something that happens so you can't get attached to these because these are meat birds and anybody that's raised them understand the purpose of them and they understand um, it's just a source of food for your family so we got one over here all by itself you better go they still need in heat they will need heat for a while yet until they get their feathers and um, we're going to raise these to f probably about six weeks, maybe a little longer. Um, we'll see how big they get, and then we will be, you know, doing what we need to 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 put them in the freezer. But it's just we we love chicken. We love ch we love to eat chicken, and um, I love to raise my own rather than purchasing at the store. And um, I know where my food come from, and I think that's important. So I just wanted to share with you our Cornish chickens. Uh, these are also called broilers, and they're doing pretty good. And they, uh, they're they going to be getting, needing some more room here real soon because they're growing. Just a couple there. I clean out this pen probably three or four times a day. It gets pretty messy. I'm using sawdust shavings, and it works really good to absorb the poop because they poop a lot <laughs> they did something else and um, one thing I've found that you don't want to overcrowd them so I'll have to watch that um, I also have to watch uh, to, to keep things cleaned out um, because that's not good to have a dirty pan and also make sure they always have water supply that's important uh, we are putting some bee calm in it it's a vitamins and it's just something to help them get going when they're young but you can see now they're they're fine, they're resting, they hear my voice, they know me, and you know they're just doing really good. So I just want to share with you our meat chickens that we are raising here on the farm, and it's one of the thing many of us farmers this over here we do. And um, it's just nice to have your own and know where that know where your meat comes from. So thanks so much for watching, and we will talk to you later. Bye.